Gareth, um, well, of course, um, difficult uh, result at the weekend. Um, how's this week been? Yeah, honestly, Nick, it was uh, changing up three out of the back four, which was forced upon me. <clears throat> was was tough, you know, because we I thought we had a little bit of momentum from Birmingham Blackpool. I really did, you know. People say we have got beat against Blackpool. I understand that, but we had one bad half in in those two games, and and really the wind Blackpool put it on us, and and really you know we're aggressive, um, and I thought you know we probably could have got away with the draw that game. So I was really happy with the first two games. All the changes that I had to make, um, and some were some were my changes. So yeah, hands up, you know, I've, I've started a few players I wanted to have a look at, and um, and it was tough. It was a tough day because we watched the video back, uh, and I made the boys sit through the video on uh, Monday afternoon. They know that uh, they, they they're going to have to put up with some pain if they if they have results like that. But we watched it, and Cambridge honestly didn't do enough to beat us four um, one. So I can understand. The frustrations of everyone, I can understand the frustrations of the fans at the end. It was cross came in the box and they scored. Cross came in the box and they scored. And it was like, wow, we we sort of were too easy to score against. But again, like I say, a lot of changes in the team. Um, some forced, some my decision. Um, learned a lot, definitely. But yeah, um, buoyant as ever and ready for Wickham now. But um, yeah, it was, a, it was a tough one to take and fall one away from home against one of our probably relegation rivals is a, is a tough one to take. Watching the video back, I mean, what did you notice from the players? What was their reaction? Um, quiet, um, yeah. I, I, I still say that um, do some leadership in, in the group. I want them to emerge or, or I'll have to find it. But, um, and it's tough because when you're, when you're being hit week after week and you have been hit week after week, it's been tough here, it really has. Um, some people go into the shell, they'll go very insular, they'll go sort of, uh, you know, protecting themselves, which I'm not saying anyone's doing that in a bad way, it's just human nature, you know, and, and you've got to fight through that, you've got to find a way then to go, you know what, I'm here for the team, I'm going to lead this team, I'll pick them up, I'm doing it from the outside, I wish I was on the pitch at times, but um, I could do it in the dressing room at times, you know, some characters and leaders to emerge and go, you know what, this isn't that bad, this is a football game, um, I know. Um, Shrewsbury Town means a lot to people, but wow, League One is 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 massive. It's huge now, and we've got to realise what the expectation is of this club. You know, after all the years that you know we've, we've done brilliant to be in League One for ten years. Honestly, really, really, really brilliant. Um, and I think that the expectation has got to be realistic. Um, but the expectation for me was not getting beat four-one at Cambridge, and that's uh, I'm not saying I'm happy with that. By the way. Yeah, have you seen any leaders emerge uh, during your time here? So far? yeah, there's one or two. I don't, I'm not going to pick names out because that stays within the group. But there's one or two. And there's probably one or two that the fans will think, "Oh, didn't don't expect that." Or, or but um, I'm uh, I'm all about the the team, the together bit. You know, you're in this. You know, if you want to if you want to be responsible for your own performance, you should have been a, a golfer or a tennis player. You know, you shouldn't be a footballer because this is a team game. We must we must be together. We must. Um, pick each other up. Every single person always needs someone else on a, on a certain day to pick them up and get them going. And, and so I have seen leaders. To answer your question, there is some in that dressing room. Um, and I also think that some are thinking, can I lead? Can I come out? Because of where we are in the league, yes, get out there. This is a time when we do need you. It's easy to lead from, from when you're at the top of the league, you know. So um, learning a lot about the squad, but um, you know, with the Four games now to the transfer window. There's, uh, there's, again, real, real chances for everyone to say, I want to state my claim in this squad. You know, um, there's obviously a time that I could change things if I need to, but I still have faith in these boys. I really do. Um, the Birmingham game just was perfect. It gives me faith that we can beat anyone in this league. And the first half at Blackpool, we should have been two or three up. You know, um, so those will stay with me. Um, and the negatives will be worked on, but um, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to this Saturday's game now. In January is approaching. Have you got a, a clear picture on what's going to be available to you and, and what you're going to do? I know there's a lot going on in the background, so wh where are you at? Yeah, um, you know, respect, respecting everyone involved in the background. I don't want to talk about what may be coming or what, what, what might be available. What, you know, what the, the chairman has done for this place is phenomenal over 28 years and again there's no way people should just expect him to give us 
you know, mega money to go and sign players. He's run it well. He's a, he's a real good guy, and um, he's brought me in to try and sort it out with the players I've got, and maybe some one or two additions in January. I don't think there's going to be wholesale, you know, but um, you know, even then, we, we've got to see in the next few games. Can we can we perform? Can we get some points? I believe we can. I, be, I really believe we can. I don't want it to be wholesale. I want to work with this group. There are some good lads in this group, you know. Um, what is the manager? Every manager. All 92 managers will have targets lined up now, believe me. And if they haven't, they shouldn't be a manager, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, of course, there's targets lined up. But whether we get them or not, it's another matter, you know. I've been in this position many, many times. Um, but, you know, there's, there's definitely some gems. But you know what? There's some gems in the squad as well. There really is. And I uh, just want them to perform to their full potential. That's my job. Um, they're giving everything. And that's another thing I wanted to mention. The fans, um, I totally understand the frustrations. Um, if performances aren't good enough for, for other reasons, you know, technical or physical or things like that, then that's a different story. If they're giving everything when they put that badge on their chest, um, and that's what I've asked for, and I believe they are, then please get behind us because it, it's almost asking the impossible. You know, if, if they can't reach some levels, then we can't reach some levels. There's some championship Premier League players playing in this league, you know, um, and we've got a group that really we, 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 can, we can compete, but it's going to take, you know, a little bit of luck, but a whole lot of effort and, and a real togetherness. Firmly believe, always, always would, always do, no matter what team I've got, but... Um, Gonna need the fans to get behind us as well, you know. So please um, understand your frustrations. Aim them at me. Don't aim them at the players. They're good lads, you know, and they are giving everything for me. I gather it's the first time you've come back against uh, Wickham since you went. So I, I guess an emotional day for you. I mean, you wear you, your heart on on your sleeve anyway. Um, just, just talk us through what what you think it's going to be like. Um, yeah, it, honestly, emotions. I don't know because. Uh, I've, I, after the Birmingham game, I came in, in the office afterwards and I, I was the most emotional person ever. I thought I, I, I was back in football, we just had that massive scalp. I could have broke down in tears in that office. That's the kind of person I am. I do, I, but I believe it's a big strength. Um, I think people hide their emotions. I totally use them and live off them, you know. Um, I don't know what that's going to be. Um, the fans, um, believe me, I took some stick at the start at Wickham, you know. and and. So again, I go back to those days and think, you know what? This is very similar. This is like, this is this is where we started, and look where they are now. The the fantastic team that got a brilliant manager who is who is just, you know, a phenomenal person as well. So honestly, Nick, the emotion. I don't know what it'll be. Um, I'll be smiling. I know that because I'm proud of what that club is uh, and loved my time there. But you know what? I'm I'm loving Shrewsbury. You know, I've been out in the town, um, not out, out, I've been out in the town, uh, so I believe me, I've been uh, partying, not just yet, all right, we'll have, we'll have those days, they'll come, but um, we, um, I do love the place, I really do, you know, it's a long drive and, and you could easily think, you know, this is, this is our having to come up and, and being away from the family and, and um, but you know what, it's a nice place, it, it is, everyone I've, everyone I've met, everyone I've seen, they're all positive, um, they're all very understanding, um, and I'm excited about lifting this place. Um, but yeah, Wickham will be special Saturday. It's the first time I've managed against them, and um, yeah, I don't know what emotions to to have. Um, it is the first time I've ever wanted Wickham Wanderers to lose, you know, um, as a manager, and, and that's that's going to be a weird feeling. But um, we can do it, you know. My boys can definitely do that, and uh, it's uh, it's something that Matt Bloomfield will know. Uh, he knows I'm not going to lie down and, and say, oh, come on, it's one of my favourite clubs, so come and beat us. Absolutely not. I, I'm the other way now. I'm going to say, right, we did a lot of work there, but look at this, boys. Look at, look at what we can do here, you know, and, uh, and that's what I want to do. There are lots of connections between the two sides, actually, aren't there? And, you know, there are some players at Wickham now that used to be at Shrewsbury that will have a point to prove. Yeah, and there's, uh, there's also a player at Shrewsbury who used to be at Wickham, obviously. Um, now, MPA was there at the start with me, um, but there is, uh, yeah, there's, there's a whole host, you know, Luke Lay and, and uh, obviously Joe Jacobson came, Dan Udo, Adam Alabd, you know, the, the Jack Grimmers, there's there's quite a few who've, who've made that switch from Shrewsbury to Wickham. Um, 
But you know what? Um, if they feel like they've got something to prove, that's great. My players are going to go out there playing with no pressure, um, hopefully a freedom, but an energy that they believe they can they can win. Um, listen, it's horrible talking like this because I don't want I don't want to dismiss any players. They're all fantastic people. Um, made the best team win. Um, I just hope it's mine. Yeah, uh, and finally from me, um, you've got the suspensions back, I, I guess. What about on the injury front? Yeah, we're pretty good on that front, um, which, uh, which is credit to everyone, you know, everyone here, you know, the, uh, the sports science and medical teams, you know, um, you know, proud to say that we uh, were very minimal injuries. JJ Coyote is uh, going to be exciting. Uh, I've seen him out on the grass now. Um, and... I think by him, I think everyone could be in contention, you know. So um, we've probably got another few days to go, but um, no, we're 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 really good on that front. Um, we're going to need everyone, you know. Hopefully, and, uh, and the suspensions back is great, you know. Marvin is a, is obviously an accomplished left back. Aaron Pierre, you know, is, is a, as as we know what Aaron is, you know, he's a, he can be a dominating centre half, you know. Um, but I'm going to work with them all. I'm going to work with them all to make them. Even better, um, no matter what age they are, young, or old, we need to we need to improve this team. Um, yeah, people say you know apologise for that. I don't I don't want to apologise for that because it's not the right word. Um, I understand the frustrations, you know, um, but the boys did give everything, so you don't have to be sorry for it. Just on certain aspects, can we be better? You know, and that's uh, that's big for me. Um, um, I want everyone to know that I'm working on those certain aspects, you know. I don't want crosses just coming into our box and looking like the opposition can score easy. We're going to work on that. We have worked on that. You know, we, we don't want to get counters attacked. We, we've worked on that. But, um, yeah, I can understand the frustrations. But um, I think that's been a football fan. There's many teams have gone through it and uh, probably the biggest team in the land are going through it at the moment. But um, Shrewsbury Town will definitely compete with every team in this division uh, and I'll make sure of that.